Hey everyone, this is Dan Kirby, fisheries biologist from Manchester, Northeast Iowa. Today I'm going to give you a quick update about some work we've been do doing on Mill Creek, which is a trout stream uh, in Jackson County. Just wanted to at least mention real quickly that uh, Iowa, as far as trout are concerned, uh, wild trout are found in Northeast Iowa in the Driftless region. This area has unique geology. Basically, it was missed by the most recent glacial period. Um, it has very connected uh, landscape, porous soils, karst topography, they call it. So it has uh, abundant cold water springs, uh, seeps, also subsurface cold water flow that allow trout to exist in this region. Uh, it runs roughly from St. Paul, Minnesota down to Clinton, Iowa, uh, and kind of straddles the Mississippi River. There's approximately 24,000 uh, square miles in the Driftless region. Way down in the southern portion of the Driftless is uh, Mill Creek in Jackson County. Mill Creek itself is about 10 miles long. It has a confluence with the Mississippi River near Bellevue. Uh, today I'm going to be talking specifically about an angular easement occurring in the upper end as well as a floodplain project on Big Mill Wildlife Management Area. And we also stock rainbow trout in a city park in Bellevue. We have a project coming up this year on that area, but I will not be talking about that today. In its headwaters, uh, Mill Creek is quite small. It's only five to 10 foot wide. It's steep gradient, very clear in cold water. Water temperature here would not vary more than five to 10 degrees uh, on a year round basis. About a mile and a half downstream from the headwaters is where we recently acquired a uh, angler access easement. This was donated to us by the Natural Heritage Foundation. It includes about six tenths of a mile of stream, self-sustaining, high quality, naturally reproducing brown trout population in this section of stream. Here's Mark working with the Heritage Foundation staff, uh, improving walk-in access at this location. So this is an aerial photograph of Big Mill Wildlife Management Area. Transecting the wildlife area uh, is Mill Creek. Uh, we've done a couple of floodplain restoration projects now on this 0.9 mile long section of stream. In 2014, we did about 950 feet. And then uh, this May, we finished up dirt work on another uh, approximately 1,150 feet of stream. So we're about halfway across the stream. Uh, the issue here is that in this section of Mill Creek, the floodplain really flattens out and there was an incredible amount of deposition of alluvium at the uh, after European settlement, uh, this stuff is 10 to 15 foot thick. It's basically recently deposited uh, dirt from poor conservation practices. Here's Mark and Mel Bowler showing that off, I guess, in the stream during a pre-project survey. This can create some issues um, beyond access, uh, things like mass wasting as shown in this corner, lots of delivery of sediment, uh, as well as nutrients in this unstable stream condition. Also, um, this is a picture of some of the undesirable vegetation that's come in on this area um, beyond the, the steep banks and then coupled with abundant vegetation. This is really, if not impossible to fish for most people. So what we've been doing is uh, basically trying to open up the floodplain uh, and improve water quality and habitat as well as access. This is a pre-project photo. Uh, here we've already removed the trees and the stumps. Uh, I got a point of reference here, it's basically a log stump that we left in during the project. And this is after, so you can see we've greatly widened this cross section. Uh, we started excavating above bank full so the stream can now spill out and flood more easily, reduce the stream power, uh, improves bank stability, uh, reduces nutrient delivery, and also greatly improves access. So that's all I have today. Thank you for listening. Hello, I'm Dan Kirby. I'm a fisheries biologist of the Iowa DNR. Um, today I'm at Mill Creek, which is a trout stream in Jackson County, Iowa. Here we're way at the southern edge of the Driftless region, which is uh, the primary trout region kind of in the Midwest here uh, in Northeast Iowa southwest Wisconsin, southeast Minnesota. And I wanted to show you a little section of project here that we've completed. 
um, recently on this section of stream. This was a highly incised segment of Mill Creek. In other words, it had very high banks and uh, it was very difficult to access. It had lots of sediment uh, delivery to the stream, erosion of the banks. It had lots of nutrient delivery along with that sediment. So we wanted to recreate the floodplain. We came in and excavated down uh, to more what would be a functional floodplain. So the stream now, when uh, it floods, it comes out of banks relatively easy and reduces that sh stress on the banks and also reduces the amount of nutrients and sediment delivered. Along with that, one of the bonuses is that we have greatly increased access um, for fishing as well as hunting in this public area. This Today we're on a Big Mill Wildlife Management Area and it's a public use area, public hunting and fishing area and uh, this stream improvement helped allow people to fish more easily as well as to cross the stream and so on for hunting. Um, this project was primarily paid for uh, by uh, federal 319 Clean Water Act funds uh, which are for non-point non source pollution reduction. Also uh, considerable funds came from the Fish and Wildlife Trust Fund which is a uh, when you buy a hunting and fishing license, that's where that money goes. And that hunting and fishing license money was used to help um, match some of the funding from the federal 319 program. Uh, we've done a couple sections of the stream now, uh, improvement over about the last eight years. We did originally 900 feet of stream and re removed about 10,000 cubic yards of this um, alluvium post sediment alluvium uh, along this incised stream. And then we uh, more recently did another 1200 feet of stream where we removed about another 30,000 cubic yards of sediment, which were hauled away and put in a area out of the flood floodway and seeded down to prairie grass. Um, most of this work was done in the winter time you, to reduce the amount of potential for erosion while we're doing the project. You'll also see that there's still uh, stormwater protection in place. Behind me there's silt fence uh, and this will stay in place. We just finished up most of the construction about a year ago now. Uh, it's all been seeded down. Eventually we'll remove the stormwater uh, protection as well um, so it'll look more natural. Uh, we enjoy doing these projects uh, because you get multiple benefits including improved uh, soil and water and also improved recreation. I've seen uh, four anglers or fishermen here today now um, so we're obviously getting that use. It's a beautiful day in the end of April 2021. Um, thank you for listening.